Hello, this is Mr. Perez with the Module 3, Lesson 13, Exit Ticket, Statements of Order in the Real World. Uh, in this exit ticket, uh, we will be uh, really using absolute value to talk about how far things are apart in relation to a reference point. Uh, in this first problem, we have the reference point of Watertown. It is point zero. We have two individuals located in different directions. Uh, we're using the unit miles. So Daryl is 10 miles away from Watertown. Uh, we can assume that's to the east since it's to the right. And Lonnie is at point negative six. We can call that six miles away from Watertown. Uh, we can call that to the west. So uh, the question really is asking, Use absolute value to explain who is a farther distance from Watertown and how much closer is one than the other. Uh, well, first of all, let's use absolute value. Uh, I pretty much call it out that Lonnie is six miles away. That's because Lonnie's absolute value is equal to six. Let me go ahead and label this Lonnie. Uh, then we have Daryl. Daryl is 10 miles away, and that's represented as the absolute value of 10, which is equal to 10. How much closer is one than the other? Well, if Daryl's 10 miles away and Lonnie is 6 miles away, how much farther? Well, we can simply subtract, and the answer is 4. So let me go ahead and respond to that. Daryl is four miles farther from Watertown than Lonnie. In question number two, uh, we have a statement. Uh, Claude read that no scuba diver has ever dove farther than 330 meters below sea level. Uh, we need to describe what this means in terms of elevation using sea level as a reference point. Well, let me go ahead and do a quick sketch here. Uh, in this sketch, we'll represent the water point at point zero. Uh, I went ahead and put the zero way up on top since I'm dealing with diving down into the water. Uh, and I'll go ahead and put... Uh, this location as negative 330. It is below sea level, negative 330. And this is the lowest point that a diver can dive. Describe what this means in terms of elevation using sea level as a reference point. So nobody has ever dove below sea level more than 330 feet. Well, this has been the Module 3, Lesson 13, Exit Ticket, Statements of Order in the Real World. Lesson 13 is the final lesson of Topic B. So we just saw the wrap-up of two main ideas from the last few lessons. Question number one showed us absolute value in the real world. Question number two dealt with elevation, statements of order, showing that something is below sea level represents a negative uh, integer or rational number. My name is Mr. Perez. If you found these videos enjoyable or you found them useful, please drop a like. It really helps me out. Also, if you have any questions or you need clarification or support, go ahead, drop a comment, and I'll do my very best to get back to you. Until next time.